Hey everyone, this is Airhead. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, we finally got to explore the Snagum hideout after the entire game. And we snagged the Shadow Croconaw that we missed out at the beginning of the game. So in this episode, we're gonna read emails as you do and see where we need to go next. So in between episodes, I just like walked around areas. Just went to Fennec and then went to Pyrite and I got an email, so let's go ahead and read it. What's his email? Trouble in Under, okay, let's see. Been hearing about Shadow Pokemon from people visiting the Under. Okay, a lot of visitors have seen a Shadow Pokemon. All right, let's go talk to Net then and see what's going on there. Actually, uh, I did want to check the snag list because I'm pretty sure Ursaring and uh, Smeargle should be here now. Yeah, Smeargle and Ursaring. And then was there also, yeah, cool off. So they appear in here now. Not that it really matters because we're just going to run into them anyway. So, let's go over to the under. It's our nice little shortcut. And go see what Net's up to. You don't even have to take the motorbike over here. I guess we just walk. I don't know how no one else found this little passage, but here we are. So we're gonna see what Net has to say. And then we'll go from there. Ah, oh, it's nice to be back in the under. With its, with its awesome music. It is kind of cool that in the music, there's like what sounds like a train horn because there used to be like a train system down here. Well, I guess there still is, but it just doesn't usually run. Hey, Bit. Yeah, we've already done all this. Oh yeah, uh, Silva will just stay in that one spot in Realgum Tower for the rest of the game. So he's just in his disguise standing in front of the... the Oh wait, yeah, 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 that's what he did. He's standing in front of the tower. Or standing in front of the elevator up the tower. Oh, hi Wes, I think there's been a sneaky train in the under lately. The guy in front of the junk shop named Gurks. All right, let's talk to him. Gurks, okay, Gurks. Yeah, we did, we're both okay. Cool. All right, so let's just vibrate up the stairs and go battle Gurks, which I'm pretty sure he's just the the dude in purple. Right up here. That guy, up there. So let's just go have a nice civil conversation. A nice, and let's have a civil conversation with this guy. There's no point holding me up, we don't keep money in the till. <laughs> I love that detail, that's a fun detail. Don't worry, we're ex-criminals. All right. Hey, Gurks, where's the shady dude? You want to know about Shadow Pokemon that I battled? How about we battle first? Okay, sure. I guess we'll go ahead and do this, but Gurks. What a fun name. Oh my gosh, Wailord and Wailord. Man, the new main series games make me so sad at how small Wailord is now, because having two gigantic Wailord on a battlefield unlike the 3DS would be hilarious. But unfortunately, that's just not what happens. But just look at this, two gigantic railroad. It reminds me, I saw like a picture of like a black and white triple battle where both sides had three Wailord and it was just covering up the entire screen and it was great. Well, this guy used to have a Magic Carp and a Feebas, but I guess he just wanted to use Wailord. Well, that's not gonna help you much, because I'm just gonna Earthquake again. Pro oh, yes! Oh wait, no, it missed. I thought they were going for Umbreon. Who protected? Man, I love Flygon. Oh, hey, camera! That was a nice view of the inside of Wailord. They're just so big that even the camera clips inside them. That's amazing. All right, and this will finish everything up. Oh, unnecessary crit. Just because. There's one down. And there's the next down. Oh, and Wailord's cry just sounds so cool. Okay. That was easy. Hey, Gurks, can you tell us the thing now? So much experience. 
Nothing worked at all. That's because your one move that you used, it missed. The other time, you're just forgetting the pain of earthquakes. All right, I promise I tell you. The trainer is this guy named Rosso. Hey, there's the cool lava guy we were wondering about. Really, really, come on. Okay, so now, pretty sure we just have to do the same old song and dance of leave the area and then just wait for emails. So I'll just meet you over whenever we get an email. All right, we got our next email. Sometimes just re-entering the same area doesn't work. So you just have to go to a different town. So here we are in Agate. Let's check the email. Shadow Pokemon. Oh, we're going back to the Shadow Pokemon Lab. In a gaudy red outfit with a Shadow Kulava. How serendipitous. Okay. Looks like we're going back to the lab. All right. Come on. There we go. Shadow Pokemon Lab. It is kind of nice to be back here. The music is, well, we haven't heard the music yet. But once we get inside... There it is. Ah, oh, the music is so nice. All right, so I guess we're just gonna make our way back through the Shadow Pokemon Lab. Yeah, just when you thought you'd explore more of the Snagum hideout. Nope, go in the lab. Now, unfortunately, this is still locked. And Rosso is where Ein was. He's at the very end of the lab. So we're just gonna have to go through the entire lab all over again. And you have to battle all of the same people that were here the first time we're here. Which is how you capture the Shadow Pokemon you missed if you did. But that means you're going to have to battle a lot of people. And it's going to take a while. I don't remember who Lair was or what she had. But yeah, now all the trainers are a lot stronger. So they take less damage and the battles take longer. So I think I'll just fast forward. Well, not fast forward. I'm just going to skip through all these because it's going to take a while. Ah, spamming Earthquake is such a nice strategy. Just makes the battles go so much faster. All right, we beat Lair again. But it's not over. We're going to have to keep going through <laughs> and battling more people. Anyone still over here? Nope, oh, nothing here. I do wish the post game had a little bit more variety in what you do instead of just... Well, the Snagum Hideout was a really nice change of pace, but it would have been nice to have more areas instead of just revisiting all the old ones. I'm actually gonna bring in Mantine. This is a good way to train... No, don't... Wait, you can switch it with themselves? That's hilarious. Ah, uh, controller. Yeah, switch with yourself. Perfect, there's even a little animation. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this so I don't have to worry about protecting or anything, so I can just keep using her. Alright, time for the next battle against Vanna. Oh boy, here we go. Alright, another battle down. Make our way pretty quickly through this area, much more quickly than the first time. When I actually had to stop and snag all the Pokemon. It's so much nicer. We just walk through. We don't have to worry about getting more card keys to gain access to other areas. We can just breeze on through. And I'm not going to the left here, because then I'll get in another battle. Well, and then I have to get in a battle with this guy. No welcome for you. You didn't welcome me last time. Alright, let's get this over with. This guy actually managed to take out my Flygon. That's crazy. His Masquerain had Ice Beam, and then when I tried to switch out after taking crazy damage, I got pursued by his Grovile. That's... NPCs aren't supposed to be that smart. Come on. There we go. Now, I know I harp on this game's slowness a lot, but there is one nice thing with the battles, is I get to see... Flygon just standing up normally instead of constantly flying in the air like the main series Because that's one thing about the main series modern that I really hate is that all the flying types are constantly flying in battle and it looks super awkward 
Okay. The people here actually have pretty normal names, which is kind of interesting. Yes, I'm back for more mischief. We are mischief makers. Now let's go ahead and just skip ahead again. Wait, what the? Tanny, what are you doing? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why didn't you level up your people? Tanny, 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 come on. You're ruining the script here. Well, now I'm just gonna have to beat you even more quickly. That was a really weird battle. Tanny just didn't level up her Pokemon at all since the last fight. I guess that was just an oversight. That's really weird. Yet they're still just as weak as before. Uh, oh, which one do we take? I don't remember. I think it's this one. Oh, we're going up. I don't... Is that... Yeah, I think this is the right way. Yeah, there's the alert system. We can't trip it ourselves. Oh man, we're gonna have Flygon battling against the trainer we got him from. Isn't that nifty? And we're gonna have him decimate him. Cool. Let's go. Was... Yeah, I think Remmel was the person I got Flygon from. Okay, well. Guess we're just gonna have to do this battle too. Well, that battle was kind of annoying. Her stinking swallow kept using fly and wasting my time. Okay, well, that's the last person we get to battle in here. It didn't take as long as I thought it would, actually. So, let's go ahead and get on to the end. And I'm actually gonna use one of these things. I, like, never use these. I guess we'll heal up Plusle, because we need him to paralyze stuff. Yes, all this preparation for Rosso. And if he sends, sends out Quilava first, like how Bluno sent out Croconaw, then we'll be ready. Actually, he's gonna send out Grumpig, so... Let's go with Espeon so we can Shadow Ball. All right. And now we're gonna battle Ayn again now. Data's not here either. Yeah, it's with Net. How are you supposed to make more Shadow Pokemon with it? I don't know, it's not here. How'd you sneak up on me like that? Uh, cause you're looking for stuff and I don't talk. Do I know you from somewhere like at the mayor's home in Fennec? Yes. You've been spoiling Cypher's plans all over, haven't you? Well, we kind of ended them. All right, I guess we'll battle you too. <laughs> Balan Rosso. Gonna be oh so sorry he battled us. Breloom, that's what he has. Level 61, that's crazy. Yeah, that's the grass type he has. Wow, that works out perfectly, because I can just psychic it. Yeah, the level's getting crazy high. And they're just gonna keep going up and up. Alright. Thunderwave, psychic. Breloom actually isn't as fast as it looks, so we should be good. go. Nice and easy. Man, I really like Brelum. Brelum's awesome. Yeah, I've been going through the Pokemon games recently, but I've been trying to use, like, the best Pokemon there are just to completely destroy the game. And so in my recent Omega Ruby playthrough, I actually gr grinded uh, Dexnab enough to get a hidden ability Shroomish so I could have a Technician Breloom and it just destroyed everything and it was amazing. It was so much fun. And I've been doing that with uh, pretty much all the games. Like, I recently played through Platinum and used a Garchomp and it actually beat Cynthia's Garchomp, which is hilarious. And White 2 is probably the, my favorite one I've been playing through so far because you can get a level 25 Braviary before the fourth gym, which is just ridiculous. I love it so much. And then you can get a level 35 Volcarona. It's just hilarious. I love just having completely overpowered Pokemon earlier than you should. All right, we got Kalava. That was easy. <clears throat> All right, 
not much going on with this battle now that we have what we were looking for. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. Just I know there's like some pride you can take in beating a Pokemon game with super terrible Pokemon, like Farfetch'd or something. But I just get so much pleasure out of destroying everyone with the best Pokemon there are. Wow, Muck actually survived. Very impressive. Well, I mean, I guess they are almost 10 levels higher than we are. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, it was a crit. I don't know if that mattered, but I'm gonna pretend it did and be angry anyway. All right, time for all reliable. I love you, Flygon, you're the best. Not using a healing item. Good for you. It's not going to help you very much. Wow. Still survived. Grub thing probably won't, though. Nope. Yeah, so the levels are going <clears> to <throat> be pretty high from here on out. So I'm kind of glad I grinded before the end of the game, just so I don't have to grind in the post game. And Flygon's getting a ton of levels just because I'm using him so much. Which is good. We need more power behind our earthquakes. Alright, cool. We beat Rosso. And now Flygon is level 58. Alright, we've gotten all the starters. There's my hope of becoming an admin. Cypher's done for. What are you even talking about? You can't be an admin. Actually, Cypher might not be done for. Oh, he just disappeared. But that's something for the sequel. All right, let's get out of here, jeez. That didn't take as long as I thought it was going to, so that's good. All right, bye Shadow Pokemon Lab. You have really snazzy music that I like a lot. Like, what other music can people just jam out on a harmonica? It's awesome. I guess that happens a lot in like soul music, but not in video games very often. We need more harmonica music in video games. Alright, so let's get out of here. And we got mail again! Let's see what it says. No, not the snag list. No, not the strategy memo. Just open all the menus. Oh, we can get pictures now! Wow! Your P.O can receive not only email, can also accept digital photos. Wow. The future is now, thanks to science. All right, what's your test picture? Shroomish. And Meg. How cute. Um, is there something else you wanted to send? Let's go to the next area, and maybe he'll send us something else. Off to Fennec. We're gonna get an email. There it is. Big snag machine? There's this freaky rumor going around that the snagum holdouts fixed a big snag machine. Think it's true? Can you look into it? We did see some, actually, some scrapped ones in their hideout. But we'll go check that out in the next episode. Oh, it'll be nice to go back to the snagum hideout because we haven't seen everything there is to see there. So we'll do that next episode. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure to play, and I will catch you later.